Happy Monday, folks. <coughs> We're back. Had a great weekend. Hope everyone else had a good weekend. Any good boating adventures? Maybe you could mention, but we're back at back at the yard. It's windy, and I have got my new mic going, so I'm hoping it's working. Last couple of times, it's been a little bit, um, it's a bit blurry, so to say the least. But anyway, we'll give it a go, and we'll see. So this just came in uh, late Friday afternoon, or Thursday afternoon, actually. I tell a lie. It's a Coraline five two five uh, runabout. Um, it's a 2020 model. Gentleman bought a brand new. The phone's been blown around in the wind. It's that windy. Gentleman bought a brand new. Um, wanted to go a little bit bigger for a couple more years, so he just bought himself a six and a half meter boat with a little calf cab. Getting back to Roto, some overnighters, that kind of stuff. So this thing obviously is excessive to his needs. So it's got a spare wheel hub assembly. Dumbia trailer, which is literally as new. The whole boat's just done at full 100 hour service. The boat's done 104 engine hours. Um, there's a brand new Yamaha 115 four stroke underneath that, which is going to be ridiculously powerful. Um, the last one of these I saw was a Santa Console, had a 90 on it, and I thought that flew, so I'm kind of excited to see how quickly this thing's going to go. We're in the lee of the wind this side. Maybe it might be a little bit better talking this angle, but anyway, yeah, so 525, 2020, 115 horsepower, four-stroke Yamaha, hydraulic steering, um, nice big dive ladder, fantastic walk-through transom, um, Coraline boats are kind of renowned for being built well, built solid, built right. Um, come up the front, we've got a nice um, display set up with your gauges, VHF, it's got a brand new VHF, um, all your electronics. It's got a little storage compartment under the floor here. Which if I come in a bit closer, you could probably see there's not a lot of room in there, but you could spot to do something. It's got a spare propeller, the Garmin GPS sounder combo, walkthrough screen, and a walkthrough folding hatch, which puts me directly on top of the drum winch. There's a sav drum winch. Oh, storage under the seats. Um, we've got storage under the rear. It's only got a single battery, this particular one. Um, but it wouldn't be difficult to put another battery in. Massive big kill tank under the floor. Enough to hide all those dead bodies that you want to cut up and dump at sea. Um, sounder. It's got e flares, life jackets. It's got the lot. Just fully serviced. Um, but when I say service, it was service on Thursday and then dropped to me after that. So um, you can't see what else you'd need to know, but I'm sure there is. So hit me up in the comments or give us a call. But this one will go quick. We've already had people looking at it, uh, asking me questions about it um, just from the weekend. So hopefully it wasn't too windy and I didn't just talk for nothing for three and a half minutes and Hope to see you all in the yard. Let us know what you think.